Hello everyone, this is Zeb89, pro gamer on Serious Sam HD, the second encounter. This video is for Crow Team and all the people who play Serious Sam Deathmatch mode. Yes, now this video is an appeal to Crow Team under a few aspects of Deathmatch mode which are unbalanced, which make the game, which make the competitive part of Serious Sam HD unbalanced. Okay, now don't get, the, don't get me wrong, I think Serious Sam HD is a great game. It's a great game. And this criticism is solely uh, due to a few unbalances and corrections that need to be made in deathmatch mode to make the game better than it is. Now let's start off. What makes deathmatch unbalanced? The first thing that, that makes deathmatch unbalanced is the sniper rifle. Now many of you might say, well, what's wrong with the sniper rifle? The sniper rifle is just fine. Well, let me tell you. In scope mode, deals 300 damage. 300 damage. This means that a single shot from a sniper rifle can kill anyone even though they've stocked up on extra armor or extra health. So the only way to survive a sniper shot is to have 200 armor and 200 health, which is frankly too much. Now, this is unbalanced. It is, a, it's a, it is an unbalanced which, uh, which is annoying in the sense that anyone, even someone who isn't good at the game, can kill someone else just by, by hitting them by luck with a sniper rifle. And believe me, it happens a lot. And so, I'm not saying to remove the sniper rifle, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. But, why must it inflict 300 damage? 300 damage is over the top. One hit weapons are really unbalanced again. So, the sniper rifle needs to be as it was in the classic version. It should inflict 180 damage, which is already a lot, and that should be fine to kill absolutely anyone because people spawn, I mean players spawn with 150 health so it would still kill players in one hit but it wouldn't kill players who have at least stocked up on some extra armor which is what I think would be the right thing because or else this game is, is unbalanced for competitive play, simple as that. Now the second, the second thing which is unbalanced about Serious Sam HD are the grenades. The grenades they can be bounced against walls and stuff and many of you may, might argue with me and say well you need skill to, to bounce a grenade correctly to launch one and hit someone. Well yes up to a certain point but honestly any grenade would kill a player in nearly only one hit and the grenade launcher isn't a special weapon like the sniper rifle it's a basic weapon which you find that has tons of ammunition and, and, and is found in roughly every level nearly. So. It is, it is, um, I don't think it's balanced to have it inflict 175 damage. Because honestly, the, the projectiles go, can be launched at a very high speed. They bounce, they ricochet off walls, and it's fairly easy to kill anyone. Now, what, uh, what tweak would I make to the grenades? I wouldn't change the, how the weapon fires them. I would only change the damage they inflict. And I wouldn't decrease it that much. But instead of 175, I would set the damage at 100. Why? Because that way you would have to hit someone at least twice, or at least hit them with a grenade and then shoot them, you know, it, it, you, because or else it would be too lame just to spam and just hit someone out of luck. I mean, that's what I mean by unbalancedness. I mean, people who aren't really skilled getting free frags, which isn't right in my views. Because, for example, in Unreal Tournament 3 or some game which is actually studied for deathmatch, you don't get these unbalances. You get a game which which snipers take away 70, which, uh, you know, really balanced. And I'm not saying that the sniper should be set at 70 damage, but have it at least at 180, which is, which is good enough. And, okay, the third thing which is unbalanced, the third and final thing, is serious damage. Now, many of you might say, oh, but serious damage is dropped when you frag a player so you can collect it, so it's balanced. Yes, okay. And in fact, I wouldn't decrease the damage uh, inflicted by, by this power-up. I wouldn't say make it less strong. No, keep it as it is. But make it so that when the, when the round starts, serious damage is, is in its unspawned state. Now, this happens in every competitive game. Like I know this is the sole example I'm making, but in Unreal Tournament, double damage, once you start the round, super shield, double damage, all the super items are, are not spawned. So when the round starts, you have to wait uh, 60 seconds, 120 seconds for them to spawn and it's right that way or else if they're already spawned when the round starts everyone would jump on them and hog them as soon as the round begins even an idiot could go and collect the serious damage as soon as the round begins because usually on serious sand what happens? the round begins for the person 
The round begins first for the person with the fastest computer whose level loads first. So they get a distinct advantage because they can jump and collect the serious damage and the sniper right off the start and get a huge advantage. So how would you solve this problem? I would solve it simply by having these items in their, I mean the serious damage, in its unspawned state and then have it appear only after its spawn time has passed. And that would make sense, because then the player with the most correct timing would get to collect it, instead of the player whose computer is faster to load the levels. And that is my view. So keep it unchanged, just make this change in the spawning. That's all I have to say. For the rest part of the part, the game is perfect. Serious Sammy HD is really one of the best uh, deathmatch games out there. Although a pro team may not agree with me, may say, oh, but they are, the competitors are much better than ours. No, pro team, you have done a great job. Your game is potentially one of the best, competitive-wise. But you need to make these few changes in order for it to be balanced. Because if you do not, the game gets annoying. For people who, like me, have spent so many hours and are good at it and get killed by players who don't really know how to play that well. And that kill us just by pot shots of grenades or sniper or because they hog the serious damage because their PC is faster than ours. And that's annoying. And I'm not whining because someone killed me. You know, that many people may watch this video and say, who's this person? Oh, he's someone who, who got killed in deathmatch and so he's whining, he's making this video to whine. No, I have played this game since 2005 and I have been one of the most skilled players, if not the most skilled, in the world. So I know what I'm talking about and this criticism is, has its foundations. And many of you all say, oh, this guy's boasting, he's saying he's the best. Well. If you don't believe me, I'm here, you can challenge me any day you like. And I'm not saying this to boast, I'm saying this so you know that my criticism, criticism is based on experience. That's the only reason why I'm saying this. With that said, I would like to congratulate Crow Team again for this great game and I hope they listen to my appeal, my appeal and my clan, my clan's appeal, which is Figona. Uh, Figona clan has been around since 2002 and just that should give you an idea of who we are and how much experience we have. Okay, so to all you serious fans who are watching this video, I know you may not like me personally and you don't need to like me to agree with what I'm saying. So if you agree with the points I have illustrated in this video, please vote thumbs up. On the other hand, if you disagree, vote thumbs down. This way we can give Crow Team uh, an idea of how many people actually agree with what I'm saying and that, make, that may endure them to, to make the changes, the changes I have. I have proposed. So with that said, good game to all of you and see you next time.